Today we're going to be deploying a simple static React web page to IPFS and pointing a .eth ENS domain to it. IPFS is the interplanetary file system. It's basically a distributed way of storing and accessing files and data. So it uses cryptographic hashes that can be stored on a blockchain to fetch information based on its contents rather than its location. So you're able to download a file from many locations around the world that aren't managed by one organization. This might be important if you're building a dApp and let's say you have a smart contract backend that's on a blockchain and you want your front end web pages to also have distributed hosting so that your entire application is decentralized from end to end. In this case, I'm just going to do a static single page website because I've got my ENS domain, sarahbenson.eth, and I just want to deploy something out there for it to point to. I really don't have anything in particular that I actually needed to do. I just thought it would be fun to have it actually point to something in case anyone ever searches it. So I've got a really bare bones create react app project here. I chose React just because it's pretty commonly used in the industry, but this process is going to be fairly similar with other frameworks too. I basically just replaced the spinning React logo here with a moon and changed the background color. It's really not serving any significant purpose, but I just think it looks cool. So to deploy this little React page, we'll need to come over to our package.json file, and we're going to need to add a home page field with a little dot just like this so that the page will also work on IPFS gateways where the URLs have a unique format that also includes a hash. Remember how we mentioned earlier that IPFS uses cryptographic hashes, so we have to account for that. And this is just a single static page site, but if you were going to have a website with multiple screens, you would need to make sure that you use hash router instead of browser router in your React app for the same reason. Okay, the next thing we need to do is create a GitHub repository for the project. You can really just follow the instructions on GitHub for initializing a repo for your project, so I won't go into detail on that, or if you already had your project in GitHub, then you're good to go. But it does need to be in GitHub in order for this method of deployment to work. Now that we've got that, we're going to need an account on the Fleek platform. Fleek is basically like Netlify, but for decentralized apps. Maybe you've used Netlify before for Web2 development, but it's pretty awesome. It's basically a really easy way to manage deployments and host your applications and all that. And Fleek has a pretty similar pricing structure as Netlify, where it's free up to a certain amount of storage. You will have to pay a gas fee the very first time you deploy a site, but then Fleek takes care of it for all future deployments to that site for you. So that's really nice. We're going to go ahead and add a new site, authorize our GitHub account, and then we're going to select the repository that I just created. Don't mind all my weird old repos from like coding bootcamp that are just floating out there. Um, and then we're going to choose IPFS as our hosting service. And now we can customize our deploy settings. So we'll choose create react app since that's what our app is. And then everything else we can basically leave as is. You can expand this advanced section here. And if you've got like some environment variables or something that you needed to add, you could do that too. But we're all set. So we're just going to go ahead and hit deploy. And now we can twiddle our thumbs for a little bit while this runs. All right, when our deploy has finished successfully, we can see that we'll be able to view our site at this URL right here. So if we paste that into our browser, hey, there she is. Nice and spinny. So our site is now deployed and live on the interplanetary file system. But this URL is kind of ugly. Notice the hash, right, that we've been talking about. That's how IPFS is going to find and serve up the content. But it's not the prettiest thing, and I want to use my ENS domain for this. Now, you don't have to use a .eth domain. You can set this up with a regular custom domain. But we're going to look at how to do this with an ENS address. If you want a .eth domain and you don't have one, you can go out to app.ens.domains and purchase one. You'll need a crypto wallet with some Ethereum in it. And be prepared to pay probably a lot more than you would for like a regular .com domain or something. I had thought about making a video about how to get an ENS domain, but it's seriously so easy that I couldn't even justify making a video on it. You literally just just follow the steps on the app and you can register one in a matter of minutes if you want to. So back on the Fleek dashboard, we're going to come down to the ENS section under the settings tab and just add my ENS name, which by the way, it's Sarah Benson because my last name is going to change this year and I went ahead and registered this for three years. So I just used the name that's going to be my new name in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> then we're going to set our content hash. So we're going to have to pay one time for this, and then Fleek takes care of all future deployments. I used my Coinbase wallet, so I'm going to sign the transaction real quick on mobile, and now we wait again. 
Okay, now we're ready. So I'm gonna come over and trigger a fresh deploy. Now, if we come and look at this domain out on ENS, we can see our new content hash from the fresh deploy and this little URL, sarahbenson.eth.link. That dot link on the end of it is there because dot ETH is not a registered DNS top level domain, so it's normally inaccessible from DNS. But with ETH DNS, you can append that dot link to a dot ETH address when you're in a regular old browser that does not have an ENS resolver, and it will resolve to your website, in this case, on IPFS. So if we go here right now, We've got an ENS domain that resolves to a React web page being hosted on IPFS. If you want to go look at the moon, um, it's out there. <laughs> now, I will say IPFS is a developing protocol and it can be really, really slow, um, which is why some people will use like ICP, the internet computer, to host things, which can be much faster, but also has its own trade-offs. But you can deploy to that network uh, using Fleek also. All right, we did it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.